a sweep in the Bronx, that's a pretty good way to attack a doubleheader. Well, it really is. I think Aaron Boone managed both of these games perfectly in that he went to the bullpen early in game one, plenty of power, the four home runs, and you get that W, take care of that first. And then he extended Herman a little bit, who was outstanding. Seven innings, got himself in a little bit of trouble in the middle innings, but found a way to get through it. But what a day for Glaber Torres. Three home runs in two days. You take the sweep, enjoy your day off tomorrow. Now, I think that Boone sent the message about Herman as well. Seventh inning, he's struggling. He loads the bases. Obviously, he had the people out there in the bullpen he could have used. That's his message. This guy's my ace. You let your ace pitch through that. I mentioned during the broadcast, we're kind of seeing the graduation of a young pitcher now pitching like an ace like you're talking about. Part of that responsibility is going deep into ball games. Obviously, second game of a doubleheader after you get the win in game one. The manager can extend him. He rewarded the confidence going seven strong. All right, now, John mentioned uh, Glaber Torres with the three home run uh, day with two in the first and, and one here in the second. Luke Voigt came into that second at bat of the night, 0 for his last 22. Obviously, a slump gets in your head, but he solved it and he solved it in a big way well, I thought in game one he was really out on his front side wasn't recognizing pitches at all and I wonder if maybe he went in the cage in between and work with Marcus Timms on some things whatever he did he got it right in game two and driving that ball to left center field Luke Voigt kind of came back to his personality a little bit showing some excitement finished it off with three hits a couple of big RBIs and a big reason why the Yankees won game two and finally with this doubleheader sweep the Yankees are 10 games over 500, and we mentioned this during the game. With all of the injuries, significant injuries that they've had, we thought that they would fight to survive, but they've actually thrived. They're 10 games over, high water mark of the year for them. Amazing, and, and Aaron Boone and his staff deserve a lot of the credit, obviously, but when you start winning games as a player and as a team, you start believing it, that we're, we're going to find a way to win this game, and who's it going to be tonight? Is it going to be Luke Voigt? Is it going to be Torres? Gary Sanchez is hot, so uh, right now the Yankees are rolling. You have an off day tomorrow and he just looked forward to the weekend series. Weekend series against the Rays, a battle for first place here in the Bronx, Bob.